Nigeria has an estimated population of 190 million people, each with a fundamental right to shelter. Not just any kind of shelter, but one that is befitting of humans. The economic realities of third world countries like Nigeria, however, make this right seem like a luxury, far, far away from the grasp of the larger population. From the difficulty in acquisition and high cost of land to the cost of building materials, labor and expertise, there is often too much financial burden for low and medium income earners to bear. This often forces individuals to take the cheaper alternative, living in slums and environments not fit for human habitation. The result of this over time is a housing deficit of more than 17 million housing units according to recent data. The struggle to bridge this deficit and provide citizens with good affordable shelter is the priority of any well-meaning government, hence the conceptualization of a federal mortgage system in Nigeria decades ago. The establishment of the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, following an Indigenization Act of 1973, replaced the pre-independence Nigerian Building Society. It has a mandate to, among other things, collect and administer the National Housing Fund in accordance with the provisions of the NHF Act, provide long-term credit facilities to Nigerians, encourage the emergence and promote the growth of viable primary and secondary mortgage institutions to service the need of housing delivery in all parts of Nigeria, mobilize domestic and offshore funds into the housing sector, and establish and operate a viable secondary mortgage market. Nearly 50 years after its establishment, the FMBN has struggled to fulfill its mandate and keep up with the housing needs of Nigerians. It has moved up from basically accommodating Nigerians in the formal sector and contributors to the National Housing Fund to evolving strategies and processes, launching several products that will benefit all Nigerians in both the formal and informal sectors. The National Housing Fund is perhaps one of the biggest products administered by the FMBN. The contributory system allows low to medium income earners become owners of their own homes with a repayment period of up to 30 years. As at today, the testimony from thousands of beneficiaries spread across the country is proof of the fund's impact on Nigerians. Whether it is the NHF mortgage loan or NHF individual construction loan, any Nigerian above the age of 18 who is an NHF contributor can access up to 15 million Naira to build their own home. The rent to own scheme is another product within the FMBN that has transformed several Nigerian tenants into landlords over the years. Again, this plan is available to NHF contributors seeking an easy, flexible way to own homes without breaking the bank with repayment period of up to 30 years. Depending on income strength, Nigerians are provided an easy opportunity to have a place they can call home. There are other products like the home renovation loan with a tenor of 5 years and interest rate of only 6%. The estate development loan and the ministerial pilot housing scheme each with a tenor of 24 months and interest rate of 10%, as well as the off-taker guarantee scheme at 12 months and 1% interest rate. All of these are packages carefully planned to ensure that every Nigerian benefits from the FMBN. The Cooperative Housing Development Loan for both the formal and informal sectors and the Cooperative National Housing Fund Loan are packages designed to accommodate existing cooperatives as well as Nigerians with common goals to form cooperatives so that they can take advantage of housing loans specifically designed by the FMBN. Under this loan scheme, cooperative societies can now acquire land and titles from government and develop housing units with loans from the FMBN for their members. 
This effectively erases the constraints otherwise faced by the average Nigerian as well as fulfills the federal government's mass housing scheme. All of these products have visible tangibles to show. Testimonies of beneficiaries transformed from tenants to landlord status are heartwarming. Till date, the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria has disbursed hundreds of billions of Naira in the provision of more than 75,000 affordable housing units. But this is a far cry from the target. The FMBN, on its part, especially under its new leadership, recognizes the need to do much more. It has brokered partnerships with organizations such as the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, the Trade Union Congress, TUC, and the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, to ease its processes, foster understanding, and have much greater impact on Nigerians with regards to their housing needs. The bank is also seeking a 500 billion naira recapitalization, a review of its Establishment Act and that of the NHF, and greater participation of states in the NHF scheme. All of these are geared towards enhancing its capacity and efficiency for better delivery of its mandate. The housing deficit in Nigeria poses a challenge, but it also presents an opportunity both for social and economic development, job creation and poverty alleviation. The market is huge and investing in the Nigerian housing sector is a worthwhile decision. Foreign investors and developers seeking reliable investment opportunities in Africa's most populous nation that guarantees returns on their investment can seize this opportunity and partner with the FMBN to make the vision a reality, especially since the board is committed to do anything and enter into any transaction which is necessary to ensure the performance of its functions. The train is on the move and the FMBN is fully committed to the business of helping Nigerians build and acquire homes of their choice one block at a time. After all, everyone deserves a home. The train is on the move. The FMBN is fully committed to the business of helping Nigerians build and acquire homes of their choice one block at a time. After all, everyone deserves a home.